Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Daryl Guberman, CEO of Guberman PMC LLC, quality consulting from here in Connecticut. And uh, I wanna let you know we've been open now going on 13 years as of August, background aerospace, medical implants, materials, printing, and plastic distribution where we dealt with every industry on the sun. This video today is a very surprise to me. Uh, he was chiming in basically this gentleman, Tim Clark from Emirates Airline. Uh, we have him here over here. He came in. Uh, thank you very much for coming, Sir Tim Clark. Appreciate it. Uh, Emirates Airline president. You also have um, the Scott Kirby, who's United Airlines, who were also basically alluding to the same thing. Uh, you have uh, Mr. Mr. Gerald Laterman, the uh, number cruncher for United, who said in Europe that the reason why Boeing's quality is in the crapper is because of COVID. He should keep to the numbers and forget about manufacturing and quality. Uh, you also have the other gentlemen here. I'm not going to go into all detail. You see them. They're in the news. Um, but this goes directly to Sir Tim Clark. This video is about Boeing is in the last chance saloon, says Emirates head Tim Clark, QA expert Daryl Guberman explains. All the information, all the data is down below this video. Um, it's very important. I'm going to try to keep this brief. I'm not going to go into the intertwined alliances between ANSI and ANAP, but I will say this, um, Tim, if I, if I may, Sir Tim Clark, is that the American National Standards Institute and the American National Crediting Board are underwriters for the International Accreditation Forum where your registration company sits, Bureau Veritas. Bureau Veritas is their accreditation body, and it was formed in the uh, Emirates in 1985. Basically, their country is watching over the airline and certifying that. Uh, that's what we've gathered uh, from uh, different uh, articles that we've researched. Uh, and I gotta tell you something, it's just unbelievable. And they do sit, they do sit on the IAF. So basically, their quality is just as screwed up as uh, Boeing's is. And let me just tell you this. And this is what you have to really worry about, is that Boeing gave up their quality inspection for source inspection to a piece of paper accredited by ANSI ANEP, who are the underwriters for the organization that your accreditation body, uh, Bureau Veritas, sits on. And here it is. In 2002, Boeing gave up, uh, you know, source inspection to their suppliers, meaning that if you are ANSI ANAB, AS9100 for aerospace, it's a quality certificate for aerospace, then just send us your certificate, then you can send us your parts, and we don't have to evaluate your organization. Although I have picked up that they did do some sort of evaluation with their suppliers. But I'm going to say this, how can, how can ANSI ANAP, how can a Boeing do an evaluation when they sit on the board of ANSI ANAP? When they sit on the board of ANAP that can grant, suspend, and withdraw certification, how can they do that? And you're in a pickle too because uh, if there's anything wrong with uh, your aircraft, you can go right to ANSI ANAP and take them to task because they are underwriters for the IAF, where Bureau Veritas sits. In 2009, okay, we move up seven years from that nightmare. In 2009, the FAA gave Boeing car blanche when it came to FAA authority. FAA, they made Boeing into a regulatory authority. Do not be fooled. You know, they're going to tell you all kinds of bullshit. On top of that, it's easy for them to post date a or or past data or post date uh, some sort of documentation saying oh Daryl is incorrect. Well, I've been doing this, my friend, for forty plus years in quality. I opened up a competitor a registration company to ANSI ANAP. They tried to take me to task in two thousand nine. Uh, and uh, as far as trying to sue me through one of their shills, without a doubt, because you have a Mr. Randy Dory who said about this person who sued me, I know him best, I respect him, he is the guardian of accredited certification, yet he filed bankruptcy in 2016 for $632,000. You have Boeing over here. 
Boeing that sits on ANSI's board, also sitting on ANAB's board. You have the factor on their supplier portal. They're requiring you to get uh, ANSI, ANAB, or international equivalent. On that supplier notification that I just showed you, it has at the bottom, I didn't put the whole mess in there, but you, it will be in the description, as I told you. And uh, it has that you have to be ANSI ANAB accredited. So they got you on the supplier portal. They also have you on that uh, supplier notification. They also have you on the supplier portal. And here it is. They sit on ANSI's board. One of them, the uh, Management Systems Accreditation Council, a council that can grant, suspend, or draw uh, you know, accreditation from a registration company. They could take the certificate away. They also sit on the board of directors that can guide the company. Okay, or what do you, you know, it's absolutely disgusting. To make matters worse, Boeing got caught fudging documentation in 2017. Okay, most recently, okay, at their composite facility, their Bell Boeing composite facility, the DOJ just fined them $8.1 million dollars for screwing up from 2007 to 2018, 11 years. Make matters worse, FAA sits on ANSI's board. I'm going to leave it here, but when you have your accreditation body designed by the UAE and they're handing you a quality certificate, that quality certificate is worth less. We have the proof, I'm gonna keep it here. I will say this, when you come out and you say that uh, it's the last chance saloon, by you having your certificate through Bureau Vertas, who sits on the IAF, who ANSI ANAB is an underwriter for, you're in bed with the wrong people. My telephone number is 203-556-1493 or Daryl, D-A-R-Y-L, T-Q-R-S at Yahoo.com. And remember, gentlemen, the truth will set you free, but not until it is finished with you. You hear me, Tim? Do you hear me, Sir Tim Clark? The truth will set you free, but not until it is finished with you. And as Sophocles said most poetically, I rather lose with integrity than to win by fraud. I rather lose with integrity than to win by fraud. I thank you.